This is Joe Dombrowski for the WrestleZone Weekly Podcast, WrestleZone.com, and uh, it's my pleasure to be here at the uh, Dorton Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina with a uh, bona fide legend of the sport. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame back in 1996. He's here alongside his manager, Nightmare. He is the Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant. I gotta ask, how does a Boogie Woogie Man feel today? Ooh, makes it boogie woogie man feel good, Joe. You know, hey, Joe, hey, here's the whole deal right there, man. You know, you're doing a great job on this, uh, and, you know, keep up the good work. And, uh, hey, Joe, you know, uh, here's the whole thing, man. You know, uh, I started wrestling in 1964, and, uh, brother, uh, I've been lacing these boots up uh, 52 years, you know, and uh, uh, God's good to uh, me and Nightmare, my manager, you know, and, uh, hey, we're still out there doing... Uh, uh, the dream, living the dream, you know, and uh, so many, uh, so many of our uh, comrades, you know, uh, they're up in the big uh, ring in the sky, you know. We just uh, God bless Dusty, and uh, uh, I mean, you, you just oh my good, the Piper, and uh, I, I, it just breaks my heart, you know. And uh, but uh, hey, hey, I want to do this, uh, uh, Joe, as long as I can, and uh, I want you to keep up uh, your good work and do this as long as you can because you're spreading the gospel about professional wrestling. And I want to mention to all the uh, the fans that are listening to us is as I'm talking to you, you are sitting here in a pair of wrestling boots. You're wearing a pair of wrestling tights. There is a wrestling ring a few feet from us. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you today, Jimmy? Yeah, I'm 74 and, uh, you know, I got a wrestling camp uh, in Shawsville, Virginia and uh, you know, uh, everybody, uh, please, uh, Joe, you too, I, I want to invite everybody, uh, you know, that's listening uh, to this uh, uh, talk right here is, is, uh, is go to jimmyvaliant.weebly.com, jimmyvaliant.weebly.com, and there's a map how to get there, it's called Boogie's Wrestling Camp Hall of Fame Museum, and here's the whole good thing, I'm inviting you, Joe, and uh, all the great wrestling fans, you know, around the world, and if you come, we're only open on Sundays, 12 to 4, and you come be our guest, uh, Nightmare and myself, you know, my lovely wife, Angel, and it's all free. There's no, there's no omission. I got a Hall of Fame, I got a museum there, and you just come and hang out with the Boogie Woogie Man and, uh, for 25 years now, and uh, it's something that uh, me and Angel, and uh, he gives back to the wrestling fans, and right. uh, I just want to please, please, y'all, you know, just come and, don't don't miss this experience, man, because uh, it's something that uh, you'll never forget. Now, have, have, speaking of never forget, I'm sure there are many highlights in your career that stand out. Can you remember the first time you wrestled here in the Dorton Arena in Raleigh? Oh, yeah, man. You know, I came in here, uh, brother, uh, in 1980, 81, I guess, the uh, Crockett Corporation. And, uh, you know, th this was uh, Jim Crockett's baby, you know, uh, Greensboro and uh, Raleigh and... Uh, this Dorton Arena, oh man, we rocked it. We're gonna rock it tonight again, you know. And uh, you know, you know, uh, I've been all over the world, Joe, and uh, all the people know and uh, Nightmare knows, and uh, he's been with me, you know. And uh, the thing is uh, that uh, you know, all the I'm telling you, people, the greatest wrestling fans in the world, they're right here in North Kakalaki. And, and I, I say this gospel, man, you know, because. Uh, in the mid-Atlantic, you know, Virginia, South Carolina, all throughout this whole area here, man, it's just great, great, great wrestling fans. You're one of very, very few wrestlers that's probably as equally known and beloved as a singles wrestler as you are a tag team wrestler. Uh, talk about that transition very quickly, because the Valiant Brothers were arguably the top team of the 1970s. Uh, did you have any apprehension when, uh, when you and your brother first split up and you went on your own? Yeah, me and Johnny, we were together five productive years, man. Went all over the world together. And uh, all the big time wrestling went to WWWF uh, twice, uh, uh, you know, uh, stayed uh, over 15 months uh, for uh, Vince McMahon Sr. And, and uh, you know, went to Frisco, you know, for Shires, went to uh, AWA uh, for Ganya, you know. <laughs> Uh, man, I, I mean, just just uh, all the greatest wrestling territories. Uh, we were very, very fortunate. And um, when uh, it was time, everything's time in life, you know. And uh, when there's time to split, uh, God bless rock and roll. There, they've been together 25 years or 35 years, I think, you know. And uh, you know, still still cooking. But uh, Ricky does stuff on his own, and so does Robert. But they hook up together and. 
And, uh, but uh, we did five uh, great productive years of Valiant Brothers, Hanson, Jimmy, Luscious, Johnny. We were so fortunate to uh, have uh, the, the Captain Lou Abano for a manager. And man, talking about managers, man, I had uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan that managed me. I had uh, the Grand Wizard, you know, Ernie Ralph. I, I just been so fortunate, you know, to have uh, all the greatest talent and to uh, be able to work with Dick the Bruiser and, and you know, uh, Vern Gagne and, um, you know, Bruno San Martino, all the champions. And uh, it, it's just been a blessed life, you know. And now, uh, my manager, Nightmare Brother, we, we go and uh, we're still doing it old school, man. And, you know, out in the independent circuit and uh, just having a ball. You know, uh, I, I know I know Nightmare helped, helped me at my camp, man. And uh, he's my right-hand man, man. I just love this kid. And uh, uh, it, it's just a blessing, blessing, brother, to uh, uh, be here tonight and see all these wonderful fans, Joe. And... Uh, uh, Nightmare, tell them about uh, uh, about Angel Wrestling work, please. Oh, yeah, definitely. If anybody out there wants, is in the wrestling business or wanting to get in the wrestling business, you definitely need to go to that jimmyvaliant.weebly.com and look for Angel's Wrestling Wear. She customizes all this wrestling gear for all of us wrestlers, even what Boogie's got on now, his tights and everything. And you, anything customized and she'll ship it to you probably within seven days and if there's anything wrong she always makes it right we even got a catalog and we put out cards and there's a lot of wrestlers out there that's got her gear on because of that reason because it don't get no better than angels wrestling wear does it you please? bet and joe and i'm not plugging nothing now you know <laughs> but i just picked up uh, this book man it's, it's so heavy it's a hardback it's my autobiography, almost 600 pages. Got to give us that title in the classic Jimmy Valiant way. Oh, Messy Daddy, welcome my world to Jimmy Valiant story. And uh, how many how many pages? Type 582 to be 582. exact. 582. But it's, it's good for uh, lifting weights too because it weighs three pounds. Hey, I tell people buy you two copies, put one in each hand, and you do curls, man. You there know, you go. yes, sir. Yes, well, sir. a lot of history in that book. You've been making history your whole career. Is Jimmy Valiant currently the the oldest active professional wrestler today? Can anybody compete with you? Uh, I have no idea, but uh, you know, uh, it may may not be. A Nightmare's nightmare. got an idea. Nightmare. Hey, he's all he, now, he knows everything. He's the encyclopedia, now, man. I. I I'm, I'm almost, and just in the United States that I know of, I didn't study outside of the United States, right. but I believe that Boogie here and Dory Funk are the only okay. two, the two oldest active wrestlers, and they're both at 74, but Dory's just a little bit older than Boogie, but they're both still, go even Dory Funk's still going at it last I heard. That's history. That's history right there. Last question for you guys. I'll give it to Nightmare first, and then I'll give Jimmy the last word. What do you think the lasting legacy of Jimmy Valiant is in professional wrestling? The lasting legacy is that his name and his spirit of wrestling will go on forever. I mean, 25th, we're coming up on our 25th anniversary for Boogie's Wrestling Camp in Shawsville, and that's going to continue on for many, 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 many years, and that's the great thing, that his legacy will always go on because Jimmy's love for his fans and, and, and everybody that he knows will be everlasting. Jimmy, I'll give you the final word as far as your lasting legacy in this business. How do you want to be remembered? On your show, Joe. Woo, messy daddy. I'll tell my people, all my brothers and sisters, don't you dare, don't you dare miss Zone. WrestleZone.com. WrestleZone.com. Tell me about it, brother. WrestleZone.com. And don't you forget, JimmyValiant.Weebly.com. I'm not plugging nothing, Joe. Not at all. Jimmy Valiant, thank you for your time. God bless you. I love you, Joe. Good job. That was the Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant. Kind of hard to get a word in edgewise there, but I appreciate his time and his enthusiasm very much. And I also appreciate the fact that he did not choose to begin or end our interview with a kiss on the lips like he used to do to Tony Schiavone on TBS back in the day. Interesting fact, though, that, that Dory Funk Jr. and Jimmy Valiant, to my knowledge, uh, are in fact the two oldest active professional wrestlers today. And uh, if anybody listening out there can contest that, has another name to add on to the pile that's still out there and active on the scene, I would love for you to tweet me at Joe underscore Dombrowski or certainly uh, 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 Russell Zone or, or Nick Hausman and, and let us know. That, that's an interesting statistic that uh, if you're a numbers nerd like me, that's something uh, uh, very, very unique to keep on top of. Um, such a marvel to see guys... Uh, in their 60s and into their 70s that for all intents and purposes are in better shape than I am now, which may say something about me as well. 
Next week on the Road Report, I'm going to talk to TNA Impact Wrestling star, frequently seen in the X Division and frequently seen uh, uh, alongside Ali on recent television on TNA. His name is Braxton Sutter. We're going to talk about his 16-year journey to his first national television contract, the pros and cons of that, and how he's meshing in the TNA Impact Wrestling world. Great time to talk to Braxton as we prepare for the first live episode of Impact Wrestling on Pop TV coming up later this week in conjunction with uh, another mega television taping schedule for TNA Wrestling as uh, they are under new management in 2017. But we'll talk to uh, Braxton Sutter about his whole career journey training with Les Thatcher and in addition a very infamous WWE gimmick that Braxton Sutter was doing years before WWE thought of it. We'll touch on that and so much more. My website is joe-dombrowski.com. Merchandise, scheduling, outsource announcing, uh, and so much more. Years worth of results. I'm going to update my 2016 results to reflect the, uh, the rest of that year very soon as well. My social media links are on there. You can find out uh, all that information as I go back on the road this weekend, Pro Wrestling Express, here nearby in McKeesport, Pennsylvania, as I ease into my 2017 travel schedule. You can find out more about them at pwxtv.com. Thanks for listening to The Road Report. We'll see you all next week.